<laughs> Brett is showing he's got a sense of humor. Kitchens, of course, taking a fun jab at interim head coach Greg Williams, who said in his first press conference that he's had 11 letters to interview for head coaching jobs, and four of them were all he had to do was sign the contract and show up. Freddie Kitchens, everybody. I'm here all week. I'm here all week. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yep. I'm going to be uh, Freddie Mercury in the sequel to Bohemian Rhapsody. I got that offer, guys. I didn't oh. tell you. Okay. Yeah. I got 11 offers. I turned it down. I was like, offers. nope, I'm good. That's Thanks. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you, Will. We've got D'Angelo yep. Hall, Nate Burleson. We've got Peter Schrager and myself, and we are so excited about this Sunday because we finally get a sequel to the matchup that we have been waiting for since 2014 when Brady and Rogers face off in Foxborough for only the second time in league history. It's going to be a beautiful thing, arguably the best quarterbacks right now. So we thought that we'd, uh, you know, we'll casually pit them up against each other in the ultimate we do. showdown. It's what we do on Popsicle the Popsicle sticks. You've got your paddles big in budget. front of you. They're very big budget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to tee up scenarios, D'Angelo, and you guys sort of tell me which quarterback you'd rather have given that scenario. You guys okay. down? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Cool, all cool. right. One drive, D'Angelo. You guys will all answer this. One drive, you're down five. You've got 80 yards to go, two minutes left. Are you going Brady or are you going Rodgers? Oh, man. One drive? One drive. Who 80 yards to go. Oh. oh. TB12. I'm going to go Tom. <clears throat> because I've gotten beaten by Tom more times than I have uh, Aaron <laughs> in that same situation. D'Angelo, take a little bit of time because I haven't worked with you before right. in, this, in this type of environment. What is it like looking to the eyes of Tom Brady mm -hmm. as a cornerback? And what is it like looking to the eyes of Aaron Rodgers? I mean, looking in the eyes of Tom Brady, you almost, I mean, you look at him, but you kind of don't look at him because you don't want to make eye contact, you know what I mean? So like you kind of look, the and then as soon as he looks, you kind of turn, turn, turn away real quick. So, you know, so you're not making eye contact because right. you don't want Tom to know you're looking at him because that means he's looking at you. Right. And he's probably going to go at you. Mm. And people, you know, you don't want that. And right. the last time I faced Tom, he had a guy by the name of Randy Moss uh -huh. on his wow. team. And, yeah, it made life very, very difficult. And so, I mean, to me, Tom is just the, I mean, he embodies what it is to be a professional uh, quarterback. Yeah. You know, not the best athlete, but somehow he still, you know, finds a way to beat guys with his mind. I like Aaron, too, but I'm just taking time in this Fair. situation. Yeah. You know, I feel like with Tom Brady, to what you're saying, he's the best ever at manipulating defenses. When he's dropping back, whether it's dropping a shoulder to make a defense shift one way, whether it's taking those eyes from one corner back mm -hmm. to the other direction so that safety can get out of his way so he can make the throw he wants. He's the best I've ever seen. But I'm still going with Aaron Rodgers because if we're talking just a minimal time left, ADR. him taking a team down the field, the reason I'm taking him is because of his legs. Aaron Rodgers doesn't run as much as people – would expect him to, but when he gets outside the pocket, one of the most athletic quarterbacks this game has seen, he, that's the most slept on part of his game. Yeah. When he throws outside the pocket and then when he rushes for that first down. Think about Tom, if the play breaks down, he's not going anywhere. Yeah. Because Tom has never been known to run with the ball in his hands. So I'm going with A-Rod. I'll see your legs and raise you a Hail Mary, which is always good for. And that's all <laughs> yeah. I have to say. Sure. Yeah, I'll go with Brady because I saw 28-3, to three, him come all the way back, and they had to make a drive, and he yeah. found a way in the biggest of games. I haven't seen Rodgers do it in the Super Bowl. Hey. Yeah, you okay. gentlemen are starting a franchise. Wouldn't that be so nice? Yeah. Just oh, start absolutely. a franchise. Yeah. Uh, are you going with Brady or Rodgers as your franchise quarterback? Who's going first? I'm, I'm going to go Brady. I'm going to go Brady. I'm going to go Brady. Go Brady. This, was, this was actually tougher than the first one because, you know, if, if you're taking everything equal, yes. a, a young Aaron Rodgers is much more athletic than a young Tom Brady. But I'm going to just go financial on this, you know, because what I've been hearing about Tom Brady is that he's been taking some pay cuts when it comes to making sure other guys around him get paid. Yeah. You know, the Patriots notoriously just don't pay guys anyway. Aaron Rodgers. He ain't cutting no corners when it comes to getting that paper. So if I'm, if I'm starting an organization, I want somebody that's going to work with me a little bit when it comes to that paper. Knowing what we know, I'll take five Super Bowl championships over anything. No, you so can't do that. Knowing what we know, if I'm starting a franchise, I want my Tom Brady. Okay, take that off the table. Straight. Hey, he's been in the NFL for eight, the 18 years, and he's been doing it at a high level. He won an MVP at age 40. I'll Wait, take this guy. I'm allowed to. Start, we're saying start an organization with a 40-year-old? We're yeah. saying that these guys are young. No, I think right If I right look into my crystal ball... And I can say I can get five Super Bowl rings and a guy who's going to win MVP at 40. Thanks, I'll sign. I'm in. Okay, all right. But we don't know if he's going to be that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But that's what he's saying. Take him you at 25. You don't know if he'll take another hometown discount. Take him at 25. Take, take, take him at 25. I'm taking A-Rod. Rodgers. And, and the reason I'm taking A-Rod is kind of to Nate's point of the, of, of, of the last winning drive. Mm -hmm. I'm taking Aaron because things don't need to be great around him mm. for him to succeed. 
And so if I'm starting a franchise, I might not have the best left tackle. I might not have the best guard right. or running Ooh. game. And so A-Rod, I don't need you nothing not a but A-Rod. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's all I need. Bill you know with what? Him. Yeah, you, you know got to get Bill with I him. I think Bill I'm going to switch him. Him. <laughs> Give me a ride, baby. Great stuff here. Rogers and Brady will score.